Good Sunday evening, everybody. It's a very quiet end to Mother's Day. We're not seeing too much of any other major problems heading our direction, but some different changes in weather are going to be happening as we go into later on this week. It's going to be, again, pretty mild to start off with, but we may see, again, the potential for some uh, changes taking place as we get into the middle to end part of this next week. Maybe the possibility of some smoke from wildfires making their way into the southeastern United States from parts of central Mexico, and that might affect your breathing out there depending on how thick this smoke gets. We'll kind of lay things out for you and give you an idea as to what we're looking at coming up here in just a little bit. Be sure to drop your weather reports to give us a city-state location and whatever weather you've got going on in and around the Mid-South area or beyond wherever you're checking in from. We'd love to know more about where you're at and what exactly the weather's like where you're checking in from. So please give us an idea on that. Coming up, again, if you don't have the opportunity to stay for the entire netcast, that's cool. Glad to have you along at just about any point in time. But the forecast scrolling by for the Mid-South area just below the screen, or you can check out more details on the forecast at wreg.com slash weather for more details. Thanks again for joining us. Let's go ahead and wrap up Mother's Day weekend with, again, the possibility of a few more showers out there. We'll show you those on Storm Tracker 3S radar coming up here in just a little bit. Most of the activity should be gone by about 3 o'clock in the morning and could even be a few thunderstorms mixed in with that, but not seeing anything. Again, repeat, not seeing anything in the way of thunderstorms causing a problem, severe weather, blah, 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 stuff like that. Not seeing a major concern at this point. Now, later on this week... Stay tuned because we may see some interesting situations popping up there, but more on that coming up in just a little bit. A little warmer today, not by much. 69 degrees are high. 93, the record high set back in 2005. Very toasty year there. 80 is where we should be, so another 10 degrees below normal for this time of the year. 57 degrees for our official low temperature in Memphis, 61 degrees the normal, and a record low that hasn't been broken since 1960, seeing a low temperature of 44 degrees there. No rainfall officially today, still eight inches ahead for the year, so looking pretty good across much of the Mid-South as we go into around Sunday night out across much of the area. Cloudy at Rock Island, Tennessee, Derek Hash. Thank you very much. Uh, for that weather report. Thanks for checking in across the area there. Uh, everyone else checking in here. Beautiful evening. Uh, Suzanne Hill Hess. Uh, great. My scroll bar is not working for some reason. wonder what's going on here. Okay, well, thank you very much for that report from uh, Forest City, Arkansas, if I'm getting that correctly. I think I need to restart my computer earlier on this for right now. Uh, Santana Thompson, Crenshaw, how's the weather for us? Well, we'll talk about that coming up here. Uh, in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. Jessica Lloyd, cloudy in Oxford. Uh, you'll be getting some clearing skies coming on through, just like you're seeing here in Clarksdale, Mississippi, right after sunset, and some nice sunset views back to the west for this evening. Beautiful view of sunset over the Mississippi River for tonight. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them and show them. So again, drop them to my social media pages all over the place out there. Or if you want to take the easy approach, just email them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. You can see the tops of some of those thunderstorms well off to our west, and that's what's going to be heading our direction. This is looking back to the northwest, eastern Arkansas here. You can just barely see the lights of West Memphis popping up here. And again, a few more clouds drifting on through, but otherwise not seeing anything major at this point. So good news and a very nice way to end Mom's Day evening and a very happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Windy Country Club groundskeeping crew in southeast Memphis out and about cleaning up from the golfing rounds for today. Beautiful view again across the Mississippi River as Big River Crossing lights up. And showing again the lights of West Memphis as we look into sunset for this evening. Now, we did have some clearing skies out there. So for those of you who are checking in to the area from, say, West Tennessee, northern Mississippi, you can see that cloud cover as the loop comes around moving out of the picture. But we do have some clearing skies into the Mississippi Valley. But back to the north and west of us, rounding out the backside of that area of low pressure that's moving on through. More showers, and there are some occasional flashes of lightning in here. We're not seeing anything in the way of severe weather. Atmosphere is just not really primed for that, but could pick up again some more rain chances 
as we go into overnight, and that includes into the Mid-South and maybe even a rumble of thunder out across portions of the area. Now, so far, the rain is back into northeastern Arkansas. Heaviest thunderstorms, so to speak, are back up to around uh, Koshkanong, Missouri, Willow Springs into and around Mammoth Springs, Arkansas, and mainly just west of the News Channel 3 viewing area. But some scattered showers are starting to make their way into and around Forest City, and we may see some of those showers crossing I-40 here within about the next few minutes or so. More activity back to the north of us, crossing areas of southeast Missouri from Rolla, I-44, back to about I-55. Going to be seeing some more possibilities out there of some of that rain uh, coming on through portions of the area. Dan Draper, when will the river be normal again? Uh, right now the river is still in flood stage at about roughly 34 feet, but the crest of the Mississippi River, this latest wall of water that we have been watching for the last few days, according to uh, Gene Wrench, the service hydrologist at the National Weather Service, uh, tweeting earlier that the crest has now made its way down past around St. Louis and around Carothersville, which means, assuming there's no more huge amounts of rainfall north of us, the Mississippi River will be slowly dropping its way downward, hopefully going past action stage of 28 feet and going down into the non flood stage categories in the next few days and weeks. We'll bring you updates on that on News Channel 3. So stay tuned for more. Now that we've gotten into sunset, should have switched this over uh, to the visible view, but you can just barely see at this time as the loop comes around, kind of a hazy view right down here. This is the Bay of Campeche into the southern Gulf of Mexico. And these fires down here, very large, some of them very uncontained. A lot of smoke off these things are drifting up to the north. Now they're over the Gulf of Mexico. Again, the Bay of Campeche is looking again at the main area of that uh, haze and smoke out there. Very thick, rather unhealthy. Now the good news at this time is we've got that stationary front that has brought us these magnificently cooler temperatures. That has been moving on through and has dropped its way down to our south. So what this is doing right here is helping to kind of escort the smoke out into the central Gulf of Mexico. Not a problem for us. Could be a problem into and around the northern Gulf states from western Florida all the way over to New Orleans. But here's what's going to happen later this week. This front is going to dissipate and move away, and a new storm system is going to come in from the west. Again, that storm system rotating counterclockwise, that southerly wind coming in might take the smoke from these wildfires and push it up over parts of the southeast United States if it's in the right direction might even be the Mid-South. And we could see, again, some pretty decent amounts of smoke out there. Uh, air quality this time, again, that's a little too early to tell. But if you see the skies become hazy, say about midweek and afterwards, you know a little bit more about where that came from. So a lot more smoke on the way from these wildfires, and it doesn't look like there's any storm systems coming through to knock those out. So we could see a lot of smoke from here coming up into the southern United States. So we may see, again, some possibilities of some air quality alerts depending on how things go again stay tuned to news channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on that as we head into the course of the next several days welcome to everybody who's checking in uh, for this evening william scage 49 degrees in detroit light rain changing to heavy at times a little bit more rainfall in that area for this evening uh, as that storm system rolls on through cool dry comfortable no rain being reported directly in the Mid-South at this time on WeatherNet 3 back in the lower to mid-60s. Running the numbers for you into overnight. Showers and, again, a few thunderstorms not out of the question through News Channel 3 at 10. Making their way across the Mississippi into West Tennessee, northern Mississippi about midnight and afterwards. And then as we head toward about 3 o'clock in the morning Monday, Whoosh, poof, that's it. It's gone. Nothing else to worry about where it comes to rainfall for a while. And pretty nice for the kids heading to the school bus stop tomorrow. Chilly, though. Maybe a few mid to upper 40s north of I-40 in northwest Tennessee and northeast Arkansas. Rest of the day looks great. No problems at all being seen with, again, some mid-60s to lower 70s by lunchtime into the Mid-South. And that should be a pretty pleasant day coming up, even a little warmer than what it was today. So nice out there and increasing temperatures over the next several days. Not exactly a heat blast, but definitely a reminder that 
summer's lurking out there someplace. Temperatures back in the lower 70s again. Some scattered showers very early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, partly cloudy to mostly sunny throughout the rest of Monday. Mid-70s, still below normal, but warming up as we go through Tuesday. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny. Showers and thunderstorms, that storm system we were talking about way out west that might escort the smoke up this direction. That starts affecting our weather toward mid to late week. So near normal temperatures and the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms. Now there are excuse me, some signs that we may see again the potential of some severe weather vague right now, but again could be a possible problem. So Wednesday into Thursday, want to watch this for the potential of stronger weather coming on through. And again, fairly warm out there. So this storm system is going to kick in the warm air and it's going to keep it in place as it passes on through. Will that smoke stick around? Will it even get here in the first place? Again, that's a little iffy, but keep it tuned to News Channel 3 over the long term. We'll keep you updated on that. Next best chance of showers and thunderstorms. Looks like it's going to be Sunday night late and continuing into the third week of May. There are some signs that this could be a little bit more potent. Again, it's still way in the future, so we do need to, again, keep our eyes on how this situation is working out for the time being at this time. Uh, Cameron McNeil, I don't like saying the S word either, uh, but unfortunately it's out there. And yes, I know a lot of you are going to get upset at me saying it, but again, we've got about 11 and a half months of summertime out there. Don't at me. That's about what it feels like out there in this time of the year until we get into the about the what lower 80s around November or so so it's coming it's out there we're just not going to focus on that for the time being so we'll do our best to avoid saying that for right now lower 80s and again pretty close to normal on temperatures so not a heat wave but definitely warmer out there and then chances of showers and thunderstorms possibly sticking around for the early part of the third week of May now again this far out things will change so Keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you on that. Coming up in about half an hour or so, join me on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Periscope, and we'll take a look again at what's going on with the forecast into tomorrow. But we'll also include some other neat and interesting things, including whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, we'll take a look at some positions around the globe where they are serving. Not everyone can make their way home. Uh, everywhere during the year. Those outposts have to be manned for various reasons and times. So if you'd like to know more about our little salute to everybody wearing the uniform of our country overseas, like Iraq, 61, pretty cool, back toward Mosul in northwest Iraq, 70s and 80s with mostly clear skies around Baghdad, down toward Basra and Najaf. So decently mild for this time of the year, back to around the Fertile Crescent and the northwestern Persian Gulf. So more of that coming up in just about a half an hour, about 10 till 9, so stay tuned for more there. More of my forecast through the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and of course I'll have more with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning on Talkback Live, 6 o'clock in the morning, AM 730 and 1600. You got sports chat out there, want to know what's going on. Great guests, great chat about sports. If you're outside the listening area, tune them in online at talkbacklivenetwork.org, and I'll have the forecast for you there. One more look at the forecast, and as of right now, mid to upper 50s at around midnight with those scattered showers possible across much of the area, and that's going to be about as much as we see for right now with partly cloudy and cool conditions as we go toward daybreak very early tomorrow morning. Coming up in just about a few minutes, I'll be dropping the latest edition of News Channel 3's environmental blog, Your Environment, to the main page at wreg.com slash weather slash environment. Again, your opportunity to learn more about what you can do to help clean up the planet, even if you're just sitting in your armchair surfing the web at home. There's a ton of things that can be done. A lot of things here in the Mid-South coming up in the next few weeks by various groups like Clean Memphis, Sustainable Shelby, Wolf River, Con uh, Wolf River Conservation. Again, a great amount of opportunities to do a lot around here, too. And I'll have that coming up within the hour at WREG.com. Thanks to everybody for joining us for tonight. It's been a beautiful weekend, more or less, and as we go into next week, should be seeing, again, some fairly prime weather out there for outdoor activities. So no major problems, again, for right now tonight, but we will keep our eyes on those thunderstorms to see what is heading our way. Again, questions, concerns, anything you want to ask on what this blog is about or if there's something on here that you missed and you want to see, let me know about that, austin.onic at wreg.com. That'll do it for tonight. We'll be on a little bit late this evening. 
Thanks to PGA Golf running over on CBS Sports. So join us at about 10.07 tonight, and you'll be able to catch up with the latest news, weather, and sports. And, of course, Todd Demers has more on your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hope everybody has a safe week out there. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out across the Mid-South. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the week, and we'll keep you informed. Thanks for joining us.